Today we're going to look at the Layers panel in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. If you look at the lower toolbar, kind of in the middle, there is a Layers button. And if I click on that, it's going to show me all the different layers information for the images I have in this project. I'm going to zoom out so you can see all the stuff I have in this project. And we're going to go over each item one by one and look at the different information in the layers. So first off, when I select on an image, watch over here on the right hand side panel and you'll see that when I select something, that background of that layer gets darker. That's how you know you have that item selected. So this image is set up to be a print and cut you can tell that because right next to the preview of the image, it says cut slash print. Feedback for Cricut, I think it should be flipped and say print slash cut because that's the order they operate in. So that means that this image would first be printed to my printer and then have a registration mark around it for the Cricut to scan so that it knows precisely where to cut. If I click on this frog image, you can see that all of the different layers um, turn the darker background, so that's how I know I have that selected. There are four layers, a black layer, a white layer, a dark green layer, and a light green layer. Each one of these layers, because they're set up to work correctly in design space, will cut on a different mat, so I would then load a mat with each one of those colors on it um, to cut them out and then layer that image back together. You can also see that each one of those images say cut. If I wanted to make this into a print and cut sticker, I could go under actions and flatten this image. And you can see that when that flattened, it changed it to be one layer and now it says cut and print. So if I do undo, it goes back the way it was. So now let's look at this pineapple image. This has the first three layers set up as draw and the last layer is set up as cut. I'm gonna zoom in on that guy just a little bit more. So what does that mean? That means that the Cricut is set up to tell this image when you send it to the make it screen, it is going to first draw the black, which is that outline um, for the pineapple. It's going to draw it with the Cricut pen. Then it's going to ask you to switch to the green pen and it's going to color in that little zigzaggy mark. Um, that's about as much of coloring in that the Cricut can do is following that kind of zigzaggy sketchy line. Then it's going to draw um, with kind of that yellowish green in, in the pineapple area. And then after that, the blade is going to cut the silhouette of the pineapple. And I can tell all of that because it says draw for the first three and cut for that final layer. So that's kind of how you could make your own stickers, is that it would draw and then uh, somewhat color in the inside and then cut the outside. Now let's look at this font. If I click on that, it's showing that each one of these are currently set up to be cut. Um, if I wanted to edit this, and change it from cut to draw and hit apply. Now it's just gonna draw the outlines of the letters and all of the text says draw. I could even change this to be scored. And while well, you can't see that um, the line type over here on the the layers panel, it does say score. So that is how you can look at your layers panel to really understand how
how your project is set up. If you click on it and look over here, you'll be able to see, is it going to cut this? Is it going to cut and print this? Or is it going to draw this? Another thing that is nice about the layers panel, let's say, I'm going to go back to the pineapple. Let's say I want to have this drawn black layer actually in a brown. Instead of clicking on the image, if I click on just the um, black layer for draw, you can see up by line type, it says draw. If I click on that, I could change that to be brown and I could change it to be my glitter gel pen. Ooh, okay, let's do that, apply. So now it's saying, well, you changed those. Do you want to change the other ones? So let's say I want to draw this in sour apple green. And then I could click on just this part and say I want to do that in the yellow. There. So that's how you can manipulate the colors of the different layers just by selecting on the actual layer in the panel. So like the frog, we could do that same thing. Say for this um, lighter green layer, I wanted to change it to kind of a minty green there. So that's how easily you can change the colors. And maybe we want to get the frog blue eyes. Ooh, that's kind of cute. So you can change the colors that way. Just make sure you're only selecting one layer versus the entire image. Um, then if you want to select multiple layers, if you start off by selecting the whole image, you can then click on the layers panel to unselect things. Let's see how that can work with some shapes. I am going to go into my shapes just to do something quick here. Okay. So now I can select on the um, star and then if I hold both of them with my fingers, so I'm using two fingers, I'm holding on them. Oops. Okay, this worked before. Oh, there we go. Um, so now I have both items selected. So now I can go actions and slice. So now I sliced that star from the heart. So if you're having a problem selecting things with a large window, try using the layers panel to select different things. I hope that helped you to understand your layers panel and all the information that's in there so that you can make the best projects possible with Cricut Design Space on your iPad. Make sure to like my video and subscribe